uh, with the 62nd pick in the 2000 NFL draft, the Carolina Panthers select James Bradbury, defensive Ooh. back, Southfield. <laughs> This is an intriguing developmental corner. Now, he's 6'1", 211. There was a buzz about this kid. When I got to the East-West game, I had about five scouts say, hey, have you done the Samford kid yet? He tackles well, and he'll fit exactly what Sean McDermott does. Well, after the Senior Bowl, um, I was giving like, feedback on like what some of the scouts and what some of the coaches felt like I could, could improve on and what some of the things that, I, that they liked about my game. You know, everybody was just wondering what I was going to run 40 in, honestly, and um, that's what I was just preparing for, like, the next couple of weeks after the Senior Bowl. After the Combine, I felt great, uh, honestly, because I ran a good 40 time, um, did pretty well on all my shuttles and my jumps and stuff like that. So then I was just getting ready for the Pro Day, and um, a lot of the weight was lifted off my back after the uh, Combine. The pressure's on because of the situation that we're in. I mean, we lost Josh Norman, obviously, to free agency. And the key now is, that do we have to replace him, and, and how high do you replace him? So again, like I said, we feel this is a very strong uh, uh, draft in terms of defensive back. I like my heart kind of stopped beating for a second, I feel like, um, but um, just to realize it was a Charlotte, the area code of a, a Charlotte team. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I knew I was going to get the opportunity to play uh, for the Panthers. Uh, I knew that was a great organization, that they're ready. They're ready to go. They're ready to go back and compete for another Super Bowl. Because I know initially when I got up there, got introduced to all the personnel and coaches, but we went right into the room and started doing board work and start watching film and stuff like that. And um, also got a chance to meet with uh, some of the fan base there. And I uh, just feel like they're ready, they're ready to compete as well. They want to win. Blazjowski wants to pass. Goes to the right side. Tipped and then intercepted. A beautiful intercept. My expectation is going there and compete. Um, you know, I want to start. I want to play right off the bat. But you never know how things work out. You never know um, how things are turned for you. Uh, I know I want to get in my playbook and uh, make sure I learn the plays and make sure I be ready once I get out there for uh, Ricky mini, mini camp and um, also get out there for a uh, training camp in the, uh, in the future. So I, I want to compete for a starting job. It feels weird, honestly, because um, now I'm not a part of the team and, um, you know, every guy that plays college football, they look for, uh, they look up to NFL players and they look to be in their situation one day. So coming back into the locker room, it feels weird. Like I feel like I'm a different person, but you know everybody's been treating me the same. Um, just feel like I'm back home, honestly.